Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Children's Chapel. I'm so glad you're joining us for this time of worship and a chance just for kids and their families to connect with God, to sing, to pray, and to hear a Bible story. So I'm Pastor Tiffany here at Seminole Heights United Methodist Church, and we are going to get started with our first song. So stand up and join us as we sing together. This is the light of my story is about Jesus healing 10 people. They were all really sick. So let's see how Jesus was able to help them and what they did in return. Let's put on our listening ears and watch and listen to our Bible story. This is Thankful, the Thankful Leper. This is Jesus. hey -o! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Jesus did many amazing things while he was on earth. It's true. One day, he was traveling to Jerusalem and was going through a village when ten men who had leprosy came to him. Now in the time Jesus lived, leprosy was a terrible sickness that could be caught very easily. Because of this, people with leprosy were sent outside of the places that they lived. They were called unclean, and no one wanted to be close to them. Ah, gross! 
But when these men who had leprosy saw Jesus coming, hey, Jesus! they called out to him and said, Jesus, have mercy on us. And Jesus saw them and said, go show yourself to the priests. Oh, yeah, we hear that. And as they went, they were healed and had leprosy no more. Whoa, woohoo! When one of the men saw that he was healed, he came back to Jesus shouting, praise God. Oh yeah, praise God. He thanked Jesus for what he had done. Aww. Hmm. Jesus asked, didn't I heal 10 men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this Samaritan? Looks like it. Then Jesus said to the man, stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Thank you. And so the man was healed because he had faith and he was thankful for what Jesus had done for him. That Bible story is amazing, not just because of the 10 people that Jesus healed, but also about what it teaches us about thankfulness. The story reminds us that whenever we receive something or we get a blessing, it's important to be thankful, right? So when we get a gift from someone, our parents always tell us to what? Say thank you, right? Maybe when we get a little older, we start writing thank you notes to people who give us things, right? That's an important part of being polite, being kind to others, and showing that we appreciate them, right? Well, how much more thankful should we be to God? God has given us all the blessings we have, the blessings of a loving family, of good friends, of a safe place to learn and grow at school, at home, whatever that looks like for your family, and the gift of a church community where we can learn about God, whether we can gather in person or whether we're still watching online. There's so many things that we can be thankful for, and this scripture reminds us to take the time to tell God thank you. So ways that we can do that are, the simplest one is just through prayer, right? Just like the leper went and thanked Jesus, we can go to God in prayer and thank God for all that God has given to us. We can also show that we are thankful through our actions, through the way that we treat others and how we pass on those blessings that we've received. So you guys have a lot to remember now about being thankful and how we can show our thankfulness to others and to God through all we do and say. We're gonna keep going in our worship time, so I invite you now to join with us as we sing some more songs and do some awesome dance moves together. So stand up and join us once more.
chapel time and we talked about being thankful today so let's practice being thankful in our prayer time so we're gonna put our hands together and close our eyes now repeat after me to pray dear God thank you for everything I have Thank you for people to take care of me, for a safe place to learn and grow, for a loving church community, and for all of creation that you have blessed us with. In Jesus' name, amen. Great job thanking God today for just a few of the things that God has given us. So I'm going to invite you to keep thinking about ways that you can thank God through your words and actions. We will see you right here next time for Children's Chapel online every week. And we have Children's Sunday School on Sundays at 1030. You can join us here in worship and in Sunday School as well. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.